Welcome to Investors Insights, where today's topic is market losses and job gains. Guys, uh, we said two weeks ago that September is historically the most volatile month uh, for the markets, and that came to fruition last week as the markets traded back. Mm -hmm. Even with uh, two really good uh, economic reports, jobs number was really strong, manufacturing was really strong. Uh, Trey, talk more yeah. in depth about the jobs number. Yeah, jobs number came out came out strong, 201,000 jobs created month over month. That's a good number. What really surprised us was the gain in wage growth, 2.9% year over year. That's the best number in years. And why that's important is you have more people working, more people saving, that's investing, that pushes the market up. These are all good things. Also, it shows that people are probably changing jobs because when you have such low unemployment, workers are able to have more bargaining power. And we actually see that internally. You know, part of our planning process, we, we help a lot of our clients deal with when they're looking at changing jobs or what they should ask for. And we're seeing that just anecdotally here, we've seen that a lot lately. People getting getting raises or looking at looking at greener pastures. It's kind of a, a good sign. You know, I don't think the Fed will take what I'm saying, but the good sign to see locally we're seeing it and then nationally it's been uh, it's been really strong. Yeah, the manufacturing number was the best in fourteen years. It and was. so it's showing that fiscal stimulus, the tax reform, is, is more important than the trade talk. Mm -hmm. And that's really important with what's going on. And uh, then Ashley, you had some really good points too. Well, what's interesting about that, to piggyback on both the jobs and manufacturing number, number one, a lot of that job tightness that we're getting and the wages going up is simply put because after the tax change, businesses are investing in capital and equipment at almost a record pace annualized 10% so far this year, which is a good number anyway, but that's even before we get in what we would call strategic planning season, which is sort of September in where a lot of companies do that level of strategic planning. It's a typical time of year doing it. And then when they right get to the end of the year, what do they want to do? Write some purchases off at the end of the year on their taxes. So we're annualizing that 10% number before we get in, even into the point where it's kind of popular to do so, which is a great number and part of the reason that's tightening up. The other thing that you're seeing, there's so few trades jobs. As good as manufacturing was, it can even be better if we could fill some workers. And one thing that you may not know about that's coming up, there's a house bill out there uh, as in U.S. House, uh, 5153, it's called the USA Workforce Tax Credit Act. So it's got a lot of very broad support by labor unions, by government, by industry. And what it uh, says, simply put, is that you can get a up to a maximum of $250,000 tax cut if you will directly invest in those worker training trade. programs, mm -hmm. mainly aimed at trade. So that could make both of those numbers, mm -hmm. even better, both of those. Yeah. So uh, it could, it's could it been great, but it could be better. Yeah. So as the market volatility continues, whether it's trade talk or politics, across the board, we're seeing strength in our economy. Mm -hmm. So we feel good about that. But uh, if you have any questions, please call us, come see us, email us. Uh, we want to answer any questions you have. Have a great week.